Hi everyone, welcome back to the Sedona International Film Festival 2022. We are so blessed to be here. We have snow on the Red Rocks. It's such a beautiful day. We love this because we rarely get it. I want to give a huge shout out to Northern Arizona Healthcare and Yavapai College for being sponsors this year and Yavapai College for this amazing room. And of course, I have an incredible filmmaker in the seat with me because that's what we do here. And she just rolled in, so I'm... Literally. I, yes, literally off the road into this <laughs> space. Please introduce yourself in your film. My name's Catherine Fairfax Wright, and I'm the writer-director of Read No More, which okay. is a short film. So you're in the shorts block. Yes. What's the film about? The film tells the story of a moment that I experienced um, when I was visiting a relative in the uh, military in a military hospital. So it's about um, a young soldier's uh, a moment in his life, which turns out to be, um, you know, he, he turns out to have experienced a traumatic brain injury, and um, it's just sort of a moment that two people share. Those are my favorite stories. The the, the moments of. I, I, you know, be human interaction on like a profound level, but also that starts out as just being kind of small talk, but then turns into because those something. moments are what make up life. Yeah, exactly, and that's that's kind of the moment. That's the moment that I realized that I wanted to make it a film was just it. When I've learned as a filmmaker to pay attention to this sort of like feeling that you get inside when you experience something as a human in your regular life. Um, and that in those moments that feel profound in regular life, it's sort of your duty as a filmmaker to find a way to to pivot that in, you know, turn it into cinema and convey that moment of um, human interaction uh, on, you know, t to audiences, which is kind of what I hoped to do with this short. I think you did it because you're at the Sedona International Film That's Festival. That's it. Yeah, I must have. You would not have gotten here if it hadn't been fabulous. <laughs> I can tell you. Thank you. Um, when does it screen? Um, it screened just now, and then it screens again on Friday at 7 p.m. So were you there for the Q&A just yep. now? Yeah, it was, was great. It? it was great, yeah. It's nice to have other fellow filmmakers uh, also in town and um, audiences that were you know, eager to ask questions and a lot of people in the audience, which is fun. Yeah, we get and to have that right yeah. now. That's a good feeling. Yeah. <laughs> see. yeah, it's so nice to see other humans, and you know, it's the first time that I've experienced it in that capacity so it's great well and on the big screen too it makes a huge difference when you see your work mm -hmm. bigger than life which is what you deserve and that's what we want to show people here is what you're doing well, so you. um, is there a website that people can keep up with with you in the film or um, yeah I'm, uh, just uh, through my website which is just my name Catherine Fairfax Fairfax right Catherine Fairfax right uh, <laughs> dot com okay and what I you know, what's the takeaway? What do you want people to walk away from this moment in film with? Well, I think um, one of the things I play with in the film is archival, um, old archival for, of um, clip, like newsreels and PSAs and that sort of thing from World War II and the 50s. And um, so one of the things that I was pondering was the way in which we mythologize military service and patriotism and all of that stuff which is fine like I'm I'm down for that mythology um, and certainly down for that respect but um, let's also carry that all the way home and uh, you know kind of protect those who have made the ultimate sacrifices for us so it just sort of asks us to consider what we are asking of these young men and women um, and you know let's not forget them what's changed in you since you made this film well for me it was just nice to, a lot of my films are about um, other demographics or other stories that I haven't myself experienced. Um, it's sort of a, a lens through which I see the world. It, you know, is um, my own filmmaking. But this was one of the um, rarer moments where I decided to, um, you know, pull from my own personal archives of moments and uh, and tell a, a more personal story. So it was kind of nice to see that on screen and see that that strategy can can also work and is valid. I would like to interview you in another couple of years after you have another couple of films from your own personal experience under yeah. your belt because I think you're going to see much more success because it comes from, when, I mean, not that you haven't been successful already, but yeah. it, when it comes from this place inside of us and we've experienced, it definitely shows on the creative. Yeah, you're certainly you dipping into a different well and that you know brings about a different palette. 
Ooh. I'm sure, as if, if I can mix metaphors. Yeah, I like it. Mix them away, yes. girl. Let's make some new metaphors. That's okay with us. <laughs> well, we love having you here. We Thank really you. want you to enjoy this festival. It's really about the filmmakers here. Without you, we don't get to come here and play and do all of this. And uh, I hope your next block goes even better than your first Thank you. block. Thank you. Here's hoping. Thank so you. So come back. We love our alumni. Please yes. come back. I'll be back. Okay, stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few minutes with another incredible filmmaker in the seat. And please stay uh, caught up with her on her film and check her out the later. What is it? What's the le- next showing? Friday? Uh, Friday, 7 p.m. Friday at 7 p.m. You're not going to want to miss this one. It's super duper. You'll really like it. And I'll see you soon.